Alright, looks like we get a rematch here. Um, Sand's fine. It's got diamond into ruby into wild. We need a uh, single diamond, single wild, double ruby in this deck, ideally. I mean, the repair is fine, right? Like, I just didn't want to play a Blood Mirror. I don't mind playing against Blood decks. I just did not want to play a Blood Mirror. I mean, you wouldn't put Gaze in your deck if you weren't going to draw it to play on one. Time to get our hero fallen. Might be right to lead on Hero of Legend here. Because the, we, they know we have a second Arden Crusader. But like, if they don't have the hero, if they're like, they're, we don't have to wait till 6 to play both of these out. And we're probably not waiting that long. Yep. Blood's favor. Well, that's really good for us. We get to play this other we get to play this other Arden Crusader out. We could be really greedy and play this Hero of Legend to generate a Valor here, but I'm gonna be more than a little conservative and just play this out. We're gonna Valor this Dork as well, I think. Just get that fifth point of damage through. And then next turn we can uh, play this out and then crack them for ten and make some more Valors. I mean, I guess I should be happy we're not drawing those shards, right? Just like... Hitting every every resource on top of our deck. You got a strangle here too? Nope, just like playing. Yeah. That's actually a touch awkward. I'm going to hold these Feral Root Acorns. You got a strangle here? You wanted to get the Valor out of my hand? You're strangling my Hero of Legends. Sure. That's good. That's better than getting a hero fallen since we drew another one. I'm holding these Feral Root Acorns because if we draw an elf, they can give us three health. Yep. Yep. These cards are like impossible to race. When there's multiple of them and they're hitting bloodstones. And like when there's multiple of them, they're more likely to be hitting bloodstones. Actually, actually every trigger. Just what a T-I-L-T. -T. And we've drawn resources in between. Uh, he's dead. How is he dead? That dead. Sure. Sure, he's gone. Not long for this world. I get it. I'm gonna slide out of my chair here. We might we might be heading to the draft queue here shortly is what is what this is looking like. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> so we're we're dead to a bloodstone here. Fucking joke. Ugh. Alright, what are we doing with our lives? Um, War Torn General is pretty medium against a Bride deck. Diamond's Favor doesn't seem particularly great. Uh, Lasgar's Vengeance and Pry Pyre Strike seem reasonable. Maybe cut an Intrepid Conjure. We definitely want this extra Satyr's Roost Bard. Alright. See how that goes. You 
Nasty Mulligan. Medium keep, this doesn't make a threshold currently. Give it, give it a good old pile shuffle. Elf. I mean, I guess I'm playing this because I, if we draw another resource next turn, I want to be able to play one of these on three. When in doubt, give up a draft rate. I actually have a draft deck that I... What? <laughs> okay, I just... just I... I... Yeah... We'll, we'll queue one more before we give up and play my draft games. Uh, I'll be... I'll be right back. Uh, I'm gonna go check. I think Jake needs a diaper change. Man, the queue times are rough this afternoon. LLL Tree with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you for that, I really do appreciate it. Subs are the best way you could support my content here, so I appreciate that next level of support. Welcome. We got one. It better not be this Renner player again. Just slide right out of our chair. God bless. I'll queue up, I need the free wins, right? Seems like medium minus. It's got Samarie and Heart. It's got all of our thresholds though, so I think it's worth keeping. Look at that. I drew a non shard. God bless. Oh, huh. I guess these don't actually make thresholds, right? God, what what quality deck building this tri shard deck has? What kind of idiot built this deck? This, this is this idiot right here. That's pretty good. Just hit double Valor off that. Hey, look at that. Never didn't have it. We played two Blood Mirrors in a row. Ace, and I wanted to just, like, pitch myself off the tallest building nearby. Just, like, 
I have no idea how people sit there and play 40 and 35 minute matches where you just like end up losing ladder rank at the end of them. I'd much rather just like play a deck that has a curve. Give me, give me some dreadlings. Just like put the dreadlings on my screen and let them attack, please. I think I'm gonna save this. I think I'd rather have the Somalia than the, uh, a Valiant Escort here. Especially because I haven't- oh, I guess this enables the Elf Shard, right? Are they gonna Valor up this Bumblebot? If they go Valor, Valor, Phoenix here, we're just, like, pretty ranched. Okay, no Phoenix, glass half full. Hero of Legend, do you say? Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna play this out for our second Ruby Threshold. And then I'm just gonna play Hero of Legend here. Let's, like, get to blocking on these nerds here on the ground. This Heart of Embers will hopefully be able to shoot this down. Somalia. Okay, yep. Scale of one to Lasgars. I wonder where their hand's at over there. Never, never dot Lasgars. Uh, we got the wine that, uh, deals damage to an equal number of cards in their hands. Not particularly great right now. Um, yeah, honestly, I think I'm just playing the Heart of Embers here. I need to just, like, shoot down this Bumblebot. I just, like, I don't want to grind people out, tracks. It's so miserable. You folks that enjoy grind- like, at least the, the Blood Vampires deck had, like, you know, speedy vampires in it. After playing, like, Redlings and the Arden decks and the Empress deck, just, like, working so hard for all those wins just seems like such a misplay. Why, why would I want to work that hard? We're about to draw. We're about to generate a lot of stuff next turn. So we get to go Artisanal, Sommelier, whatever this card's called, into Intrepid Conjurer, make a wine. Into Valor, this, make a new Intrepid Conjurer, shoot your nerd. Into another Intrepid Conjurer, make another wine. Yeah, I probably should have picked the Valiant Escort back up, actually. I think I'm just passing the turn here. Just call it Wine Guy. What are we playing in the plunder? I am not playing a deck with blood cards in it, most likely. I guess I have a day and a half to untilt from having just, like, been miserable about blood cards, but... Yeah! Yeah, you get play decks that are good. Actually be able to... Working, working for every win... Having to work for every win you get over the course of a 10 round tournament is miserable. It's just an awful experience. Don't, don't do it to yourself, folks. Cremate me. Is there a phoenix in my future? Of course there's six in there too. All right. What are the odds we can kill them this turn? Low? Zero? Zero percent? Zero percent to kill them this turn? I'm gonna go to two here, and then we're dead to this phoenix coming back next turn. Diamond's favor. Yep. Yep. Totem traps and cremate seem fine. Repost seems fine. I don't think we want Satyr's Roost Bards in this patch, but let's just use all of our Feral Root Acorns as, um... Let's use all of our Feral Root Acorns to gain life. I'm gonna cut a Wild Shard on the draw. Diamond's Favor doesn't seem particularly impressive. Alright, let's give, let's give this a go. Oh, actually, you know what? 
I can put Skyguard and Steadfast in these bad boys, right? Let's do that. That sounds hot. Maybe leave this wild shard in. Huh, what am I cutting then? Heart of Embers, maybe? Or Hero of Legend? Oh, I can't cut all of these, because, yep, got it. Honestly, if your opponents play Blood Decks, they're getting free wins, so it does get... S not, not, not really, Matty. Like, you... I have yet, like, aside from the Ardent matchup, I have yet to see your Blood Decks generate, generate any, any sort of free wins. Like, you're like, like, how's the Bombus matchup? Close. How's the Empress matchup? Close. Just, like, the answer to everything is close. Alright, so we need a wild for this at some point. So this says whenever we play an Ardent Troop, we get a Valor. So uh, I should have bluffed the Glasgar by attacking with that. So we get a wine and a valor. Get a little cheese with our wine is what we're saying here. Ah, uh, the old scapegoat, sure. Whenever this gets blocked, it bounces back to their hand. That's, yep, unfortunate. Valor this, make another one that makes this larger. You believe we're at 26? Did I board a resource out? Actually, I can count, right? Nope, there's both the... Oh, I didn't realize my thing was covering my health total. Sorry about that. We did not board out one of our 26 resources. I almost did. Welcome to Brick City. Brick City, USA. Population us. All right, they are also... They are also occupying Brick City, but we've got some some lower curve threats here at least. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Play this for our wild threshold here. Play this uh, this here Arden Crusader, which generates a Valor and a Wine. Play my idiot, draw two cards, sign me up. Vengeance and coming luck. Vengeance for whoever, I guess. I'm just going to keep smashing. They've attacked with the goat, what, twice now? Yeah. All right, look it over, think about it, think about it, submit. We're probably going to play my draft games after this. I have a really sweet draft deck and I would kind of like to play it. And we're a little we're a little sideways on constructed right now. Seems okay, right? Like, we get to go Slow Shard into Diamond, War Torn General into Intrepid Conjurer, make a Valor, Valor Mine, Intrepid Conjurer. Goat on one is real bad for us. Maybe I need to Intrepid Conjurer on one here now? Do I have something to block this nerd? That's probably the case. With an Ardent deck utilizing... Viridian with Winemaker was pretty sweet. Yeah, seems okay. Viridian's definitely an untapped card, right? I'm just like looking at cards that are good that don't just don't have homes yet. Viridian's definitely on that list. Flip that back up into their hand. They didn't have removal for this, which feels good. I could play this out for a Ruby and then play the Wartorn General here. Blocks both the goats until we get Lascar's Vengeance. It's actually really good for us. That should mean they probably don't have Lascar's in their hand. That, uh... It's actually a pretty good draw for us. We get to go ahead and cycle this. 
And then next turn we can Heart of Embers, making two Valors. Um, I actually think I'm going to go ahead and Decree a Banishing here and get rid of this Blamsmith. Because that way um, my opponent can get less triggers on a Lasgar's Vengeance if they have one or draw one. Another Blamesmith, sure. Go ahead and grab a Sapphire Threshold here. Why? Because we can play this, make a Valor, make a Valor. All right, if we get to ready with this squad, they're going to be a pretty, pretty angry squad. Don't Lasgar's vengeance me, bro. Please, please have a heart. Have a heart. Have a heart. Don't Lasgar. The attack with one goat is interesting. I'm going to replay a post-combat? No. Well, we're going to lead on this. Because, uh, uh do, I, do I want the wild or I want the health? I feel like I want the health. If we draw a Crusader to the need Skyguard just yet. I'm going to go ahead and Valor this and shoot this. And then I'm going to go ahead and Valor this Heart of Embers and shoot this Escape Goat so they can start getting rid of some of their triggers. This also makes the Heart of Embers too big to kill from Alaskar's Vengeance. here. It's possible I should just cycle this now so that way I can, in case I draw a one drop, play it, but I'm probably not playing. Um, and they bricked off on Sapphire again and died. Ooh, keep doing. Back up to 28. Right, let's play one more, get at least a half hour video in with this deck. Seems fine. The resources are like medium. Are like medium, medium acceptable. All right, draft cube, you got six or standard cube, you got sixty seconds, and then we're hopping in a draft match. You got a sweet tri shard pile of draft cards ready to go. It's got to be a train wreck, right? Yeah, the Arden deck's great, right? Like, it's got it's got good aggressive curves. The Heart of Embers gives you a good over-the-top card. I actually just like Heart of Embers. Maybe we'll play with Valor Bombus some more today. Uh, I don't know if we're going to play Mortal today or not. Haven't, have not decided. I think it seems fine. Like, not super exciting, but fine. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> a shard needs a human. Fun, fun fact. Fun, fun fact. Lit literal perfects in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> All right, I'll grab your view with that then, I guess. Oh, oh, that's great. God bless, right? Ooh, Blood Wild Theraz. 
Nice two one you got there. Block. Any castable. I'm immediately punished. Immediately punished for having chosen. For having chosen Ruby there. What a beating. What a beating. Cheap shot me. Do it. That that just happened. That that just happened. Okay. Oh, this is permanently bigger. That's... that's awkward. Right. Permanently larger. Huh. Neat. These aren't even the AA squirrels. These are the regulars, right? Sure, why not? Totem Trap seems decent. Diamond's Favor seems medium. I guess this kills Commander Prompt. Maybe that makes it worthwhile. Let's do this card's a little medium in the aggressive matchups. Nobody knows what's going on right now. It's all bad if I didn't want to lose more. We've conceded too many matches without trying today already, so we're going to we're going to try and win this. But the deck is bad and I should feel bad. I need to check a diaper again real quick. Apologies for the interruption. We were due for a scoop it up day. Hand has no pressure. Uh, hands medium minus. But to keep it six. Lisa's got a human for our cobblestone this time around. Watch us get cheap shotted and just like want to pitch ourselves off the building. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hopefully they play the 2-1 speed idiot next turn so we can totem trap him. This deck uses a William Rowan for the more aggressive matchup. So you can't play William Rowan in the Trishard decks. Even playing William Rowan in the Ruby Arden deck is kind of tough. Like, because you need double diamond on two. And these just, like, only having eight duels makes it hard to play double diamond cards consistently and double ruby cards consistently. It's like, there's, yeah, there's the, there's the cheap shot. All right. Well, you know, we tried, fam. See, Tom, I told you I would deliver on the, the run bad to lose all the matches, right? We lose this, we'll be 05 on stream today. 04. The one match was so long, it feels like it was three losses. Because we should have lost at 0-3 instead of losing at 1-2. Totem trap this idiot. Thought we didn't play our Valor out. Oh, we're about to get... 
Gordon, you want to just aspect of the squirrel out of this game? All right, that's it. We're not just this. We're done. All right. If anyone was here just for.